Good morning guys, it's now first in morning. We didn't actually vlog yesterday, we were round about Beverly Hills and just sort of enjoying the day really. It wasn't really the kind of place to film anyway, the Beverly Hills Hotel. But I'm not sure if you can hear this because I think this is really worth showing. So basically we thought there was some real, you know, some, maybe some kind of band or something going on but it's... No, you did, I knew it was protest. They knew it was protests. Can you get you on? Yeah, but just don't get, I've got my nipples on. So Tay said it was protests, so we had a look outside. And it is. Couldn't see anything. Um, and then I thought, it's coming from downstairs. I'm gonna go and show you, because I've never seen a protest. And this one, I've just had a quick word with a woman down there as I was getting my coffee. And she said it's to do with that they don't have contracts at hotels, which makes sense to protest because you never no, know when no there's no certainty. Let's go and join them. Okay, so this is this is the hotel lobby. must be part of the staff. No contracts, it says. There we go. So we're back up in the room. I've just got to show you this sunrise. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. It just starts the day. like a little bit of fog in the distance. It's now eight o'clock. Can't see anything, but it's literally just going down there. We are off out. You can probably hear story in the background. I've got my new t-shirt on that I got from Kif. I Kif. am wearing um, half gym gear, half my gym shark leggings, and a, a random black top that I've got because I can't wear the full gym shark fit because I'll be too hot. I'm going to be too hot in this. I've run out of clothes. And I also brought these from Kif. They are rose. They're rose clear. I thought, do you know what? How LA. So I'm absolutely buzzing. Can you show my new trainers? Yeah. You like these? This is what you call LA cool girl. Like Hayley Bieber who? I am sorry. And these, <laughs> these match my t-shirt. So that is either super geeky or super, <laughs> super cool. I'll let you be the judge. We're completely ignoring Story. <laughs> who's Sorry, in, Story. I'm trying who's to do a vlog. Who's in the pram right now? Um, but she's very talkative today. And let me tell you the rundown of what we're doing today. Yeah. Well, first of all, I've got to find some clothes because neither of us bought many clothes because we were like, we're going to buy stuff here. And also, we didn't really understand what the weather was doing, but the weather is hot. So nice. Like hot. And I've packed for autumn winter because I want to wear autumn winter clothes. So struggling there. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to somewhere called, I think it's called The Grove which I think is in this area. And they have a farmer's market there with loads of different full, uh, food stands and stuff and like markety bits. But also off there, there's a lot of different shops. So we're gonna go to those shops, we're gonna go to farmer's market. I've got a minute, I wanna go to Albert's today and get a matcha, because I'm literally can't stop thinking about that matcha I had at Al no, Alfred's, not Albert's. Another thing I wanna do, there's a, a house in LA called The Witch's House and mm. it, we're getting into spooky season at the minute in LA and um, I want to drive by and see that. It's been on Kourtney Kardashian's store. I think she puts it on her story like every Halloween because I don't know what it is and we need to do some research on it but I want to go and see that. 
I'm not quite finished yet. Go on. Um, what else I want to do today is I want to go to a few shops on Melrose that we were supposed to go to yesterday before Story had a meltdown. Um, yeah, we've seen the real... it there. It looks extremely designer. Yeah. No, well, yeah. The real real, which is a vintage designer shop. Probably not going to buy anything because he won't let me. No. But um, I just want to have a look at what's to offer. Like, I want to see all the vintage Chanel's and things. Um, might buy something. We won't be buying anything, don't worry. <laughs> and then or should I say, yeah, yeah, we might. And then there's a vintage shop. Well, I don't know if it's a vintage shop. There's a clothing shop called Reformation. Reformation. I want to go and see that. It is 11 o'clock, 11.30 on a Thursday. We've, yeah, 11.30 and into 12. So we've got to get out there because we've been up since 6am. 6 6. We, we went bed really early. As I mentioned, we didn't film yesterday. Had a nice day. We had a coffee at 6am, which is literally just driving us through the morning. Yeah, we've done a fair bit though. This this place was a mess. We've tidied up. Tidied up. We stories had a bath. We've both had a shower. I've washed my hair, dried my hair. We're trying to get story really prepped up, ready for the day. What we have decided as well is that the meals out are sort of giving us anxiety, aren't they? We can't enjoy them. We sort all. of find ourselves rushing them. Like, like the minute I sit down, I'm then like, oh, I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, like yesterday we at the Beverly Hills Hotel, an amazing, amazing. Uh, place we'd actually booked the ballroom, didn't so realize the polo, lounge. the polo lounge. Most people in shirt, trousers, and we rocked up. Looking we rocked like... up like this kind of like, hey, we're tourists in America. And um, they did advise us, like, I had ripped shorts on. I mean, you can't get any tackier than that, really, can it, for a polo lounge? But they did say there is by the pool, there's a cafe. So we went Cabana. to that cabana, and I thought that was we looked in the polo room. I think that's way more. More exciting. Mm. The polo room's like extremely, like you know, classic, very formal. This was at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Which by I wouldn't the way. say that's that exciting. Whereas the pool, it feels like you had the sun on you, palm trees. You can see everyone in the pool. It felt like you're in a movie. So I would recommend what, that. What definitely. I would say about the Beverly Hills Hotel, though, I think it's definitely worth going because when we were in there, we were like, wow, this is our like old Hollywood, like so cool. Yeah. And the decor and everything, you just can't beat. It's so classic. But one thing I would say is that, and actually I think this is like a common theme that I've realised so far, I think a lot of the food is really overrated here. Like, you know these restaurants, I think a lot of them are quite overhyped. For me, the Beverly Hills Hotel food, for what it is, I think the salads were like $40 or $46 yes, for a chopped salad, which is a lot of money. But I think you pay more for the experience, and therefore I would say it's worth it. Because just walking through the lobby, going having a look, getting some nice pictures, if that's what you're into, which is what we're into, I think you can enjoy it. But you could also just get a coffee. You could. You could. Because it, it, the food, it was a Although cafe. Although I don't know whether you could. I don't, at that kind of pace, I don't know whether you could just sit there and, and like, not. Because you'd be taking the table from someone who's potentially, like, paying for food. Yeah. But it's very it's snazzy, like the, the the waiters and stuff. Are like, like next imagine level, if you like, just see it on a film. You know when someone's when he was talking to us, he couldn't stop smiling. Like it's like they're not allowed. It's to. like really over the yeah, top. They're nice. not allowed to not smile. Like no, it's my pleasure. Yeah, it, it's an experience. It is. It, I really enjoyed it. I, I did, really and therefore it. I would say it's actually worth the money. But what I would say is the food versus the price not great. The experience versus the price is good. Yeah. Would you agree on that? I completely. And I'd go to. I'd go to there over the polo lounge. Yeah, and another thing is, we came home and we ordered takeout. The pasta was uh, from where we ever we ordered from, but we ordered some churros <laughs> from actually a Mexican place. I just typed in churros. What an incredible! The best churros. They I've were ever in. Had. They were thick churros in cinnamon, and then it came with the teller. I'm gonna put the place on my Instagram highlights. I've got a highlight going called LA. <laughs> I think we probably need to go now. Yeah. But you have to get the churros from there because we're getting them again tonight, 100%. Yeah. But anyway, we will film some of our day. We better get going and um, show you what we get up to. Yeah, another thing I would mention for people, <laughs> I like this is the kind of boring shit that I like to talk about, is tips. Do you know in Europe we sort of kind of tip, you know, here you sort of have to tip everywhere you go. Otherwise it's... So I even like googled it, like how much tipping, blah blah blah, blah. and it's like, I don't know, on food and stuff, it's like 20%. That's not the issue. The issue is uh, having cash available. So I went and got out a load of money, and all I've had is $20 bills. Now every time we go and get our car out, a lovely gentleman helps us with uh, stuff, 
I'm having to give twenty dollars every what time. What it is, every time you feel someone so rude. every time someone helps you even slightly, they're helping you for a tip, basically. Yeah. So it's a little I bit looked wild. at the top tips from Americans and they said carry small you know, dollars, ten dollars, five dollars. That way you can give something so you're not rude, but you're not constantly giving twenty dollars everywhere. Because I've only had twenties and I must have spent, you know, like four hundred dollars on tips. And now they're all flocking to Jack. Honestly, <laughs> when we get out to the car park, they're all like eyeball pool. Yeah, but I'm also paying forty-five dollars for the car park. So Joe, if it's forty-five dollars for the car park, and then you tip to get your car, you tip to get it back, and then you want another trip out that day. Like we want to get the car. I'm like fearing getting the car because it's number twenty, number twenty. When we my um, own fault. I need to get smaller change. When we so ordered, that's a tip. when we ordered, that's a tip, tip for that's the tips. Tip for the tips. Get some smaller change. When we change. ordered food the other day. A takeaway we forgot cut, that we need cutlery and i rang to get cutlery and i was like Fuck, now that's gonna cost us twenty dollars because that's all we had and i was like jack jack oh, we can't give them twenty dollars to bring cutlery up like that's the point of the hotel and i was like please please you answer you the door you answer the something. door you answer the door and it's so dare. awkward yeah we didn't by the way the man just literally came and he was like that he didn't yeah. he wasn't like tip expected no they don't they definitely don't like go hey you owe me a tip no it's but just it's, the, it's just a no it's a the given. expected thing yeah so i we needed knife and forks again okay. later in the day and um hello oh no thank you thank thanks you. so much and right, we've really got to we've go. We've got to go. And, um, Sorry, Master, who's in the pram? It's a Zane in his house. Last point, I went downstairs and got my own knife and fork. Jay White, I just earned $20 for it. <laughs> That's really stinky, isn't it? Right, got to go. Right, bye. Bye. Story. <laughs> Best behaviour. <laughs> Let's get him in there. Dear God of babies, please today. Please do what you can do. Make my oh, baby, baby have a lovely day. I know. You've got your toys, you've got your blanket, you've got your dum dum. Your on. only hope left. <laughs> so he's loving the Christmas music. This is the Christmas music. I'm sure this is all from Parent Trap. From Parent Trap? Just, uh, Yeah, New York or something. Yeah, New York. Wow, there's some good stuff here. This is huge. I feel like a lot of money is yeah. going to be spent it's today. It's like Caesar's like Palace, isn't it? Amazing. You know what? We really need to get something to eat. We haven't eaten yet, have we? Not a dime. Oh my god, this is unreal, I'm so happy. Should we get lunch while she wants to This is so nice. Cheesecake factory. Where's the cheesecake factory? Cheesecake factory is behind us. Up in that corner. Should we go there? Yeah. I've not been there since Vegas. Wait, yeah. how cool is this? This is really nice. I'm so happy. Nike, got to go there. Yeah. So where should we start then? Oh, this is a little train that goes to... Oh, it's a little train! Yeah, we've got to go on that. So we found the Cheesecake Factory, which is there. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, right down there. So I'm going to have a shopping hour. Hello. Hello? Hello. Oh, you got her. Well worth a visit if you're in town. So 
we stop in for a coffee at a place called La La Land, which is such a nice shop. Tea's loving it, very aesthetically pleasing. Look at this caramel latte for Jack. How stunning. Like, I'm not being funny. Oh, God. <laughs> I've never seen something so cute. Oh my God, look. Settled down at the Cheesecake Factory. And um, oh my god, I cannot, but I'm so excited to be here. I really didn't think this was going to be my vibe. We've been here before in Vegas, and to be fair, we loved it, but I just can't get over how much good food there is. When I say good food, I mean like shit food, but good food. I feel like this is good shit food though, if that makes sense. What we like about it is there's a lot of music, there's loads of other kids, stories. We find a little bit, but she's just having a bottle as you can see and then I'm going to try and settle her down in the pram we can get a couple of hours out of her whilst we have a look around that's all we need um, but yeah it's a really child friendly place the music is good when it is like drowning it out so these the avocado egg rolls never tried them before but I went on the Instagram to look at the food. Let's give them a go. Oh my god. <gasps> they're like a... They're a good 9 out of 10. The sauce is amazing. Mm. I'm gonna look that, babe. It's having a bit of a lay down. Probably not the cleanest so yeah. but we'll give her hands a wipe. But we can eat a meal in peace so. <laughs> yeah, we were just saying this place doesn't give us anxiety having food because it's like a family place. And there's like loud music on which you can probably hear. There's other families here. I can hear other babies that are crying. I just don't feel anxious. Well, I think we've just trying to be going to the places where we'd go to as, as, adults. A, as adults without as a, a child. Couple. Now you realise why adults and families always end up going to like family more, place. yeah, more family kind of vibe restaurants. Now yeah. I totally get it. We've been doing the complete we've, wrong thing. We've done the complete wrong thing. Okay, next up we've got a Caesar salad just because I actually do fancy a bit of salad even though it's dripped in dressing. I just need something to go with something fried. Jack's loving the avocado egg rolls. Babe. Best things I've ever had. <laughs> you see that by right. there. The dip is dipping, isn't it? It's so good. The whole good. thing is just... Honestly, big. you have to have the avocado egg rolls if you ever come here. And then this is something called a buffalo blast, which is like, oh, fried chicken, but then it's got like sauce and stuff inside of it. I don't know whether I can... It's got like sauce and bits and bobs inside it. And then it's come with like a blue cheese and a buffalo sauce and some celery. And this is what we've ordered. The story, I don't know what she's doing over there. What a better experience being in a family restaurant versus going somewhere that's maybe a little bit like the no kids zone. The food was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. We just ordered three appetizers. Well, two appetizers and a salad. And it's absolutely perfect. The best thing was definitely the avocado egg rolls. They were absolutely delightful. Jack polished most of them, didn't he, Jack? Say hey to the genie! Hey to the genie! Tay is in. Aritzia story. It's really actually quite tired. And then there's actually an ASOS store. Let me show you. So he's actually just nodding off. So I won't look at her. Look at this, there's an ASOS store. Which I've never seen before. So I'm have a quick look in there. So 
just in Lululemon getting some bits and Story is really happy. Because she knows she's going in the sling with Daddy. Come in the sling. <laughs> Will you come in the sling? You coming in that sling? Why? <laughs> Give us a kiss. Back in the car now. Six o'clock. Well, half five. How long um, have we been there for? What, a good five hours. We've been there for five hours. We we're out for twelve, weren't we? No. Yeah, we had food. Don't forget we had coffees, I had... Well, I'll check my stories. We've been I there a long time. One. For one, so yeah, four, so four, four and a half. A long four. time. Long time, and do you know what makes the difference? Stories been on... I keep saying best behaviour, but that's not... It's we, not true, we've she can't be on bad behaviour. We've managed her well. We really have, like... We've just... Planned she's stuff... had little sleeps here and there. She's slept well, and then we've planned stuff like... Rather than... We've just managed her food well, like... Whenever there's an opportunity to sit down, let's say I'm buying some clothes or Tay's buying some clothes. Yeah, I give her a bit of bottle. Lululemon. Yeah, give her a bottle. D these little things and it just stops her getting to the point of crying. Also, what really um, made the day good was going to somewhere family oriented for dinner. Because we managed to eat, the story was great. And it's more, ju it's more you than actually the baby because probably people don't really care but it's the fact that you're like so worried about what we are very worried about what other people are thinking and so I'm like constantly when I'm eating I'm like oh my god just get me back and then I'm like this actually isn't even enjoyable eating like I've preferred having takeaways even though the takeaways haven't been that great to be honest I've not made good decisions when it comes to the takeaways but like yeah eating there today was just such a nicer experience definitely and um I'm pretty tired now actually but I don't want the day to be ending because I don't want the day just to have been shopping so I feel like what we're going to do is go back I'm going to order some churros are you in the mood for churros Jack? or not? Mm, possibly I feel but like I need to go gym I'm going to order some churros I'm going to get her to sleep and then I think we could easily have just getting our cozies have a second wind at just like ticking off like a like an in and out or something or a chick-fil-a because we've not done that i think it's really just crap food but it's something i think you need to do in america or if not that maybe some kind of like nice big fruity drink i'm really thirsty right mm. now so maybe that's why um but also i want to go to the witch's house in beverly hills and i feel like we could just do some more general driving and see if we're missing anything oh sorry my nose is in there I feel like, yeah, even if we're just like having a little drive tonight, I feel like it's too early to go home, but Story just needs to go to sleep. Yeah, I feel like, I totally agree with you. I don't want the day to, the whole day just to be shopping. But I also like, I'm getting to that point, I don't know if anyone else has this whilst on holiday, is it's great eating shit food, you know, we taking eaten time that much off. Shit, you know. Um, well, in general, like, you eat different foods. You, I haven't drank actually at all this holiday, but normally it, You've not had a single drink. On the plane I had hot, well I had one. Mm. Normally on holiday I would drink a lot, I would eat shit food and I would sack off the gym. And every t every holiday I pack my gym kit and I say this holiday is going to be different. And when it gets on holiday I'm like, nah fuck it, I'm on holiday. And you know what, I don't see the excuse before without the child. But yeah, now... the excuse, well the excuse before without the child was that it would lead me to, let's say every time we had food at night, I'd have a few drinks, you know, I'm on holiday, there's nothing, no reason to get up, it was the perfect, like, social environment to enjoy it, mm. whereas now we don't have the drinks, which, you know, I do not miss at all, so if you, you know, have a baby, that's a bonus, but I get, gets to the point where I'm like, I, d I just need to do something to progress myself, and with me, is... I eat shit, but it's more I eat less. Yeah. I don't eat enough. Yeah. So then when I don't the, eat enough... In the enough, UK, you're I'm, uh, just like, I've got to have my protein shake, I've got to have yeah. my oats, I've got to have this. Yeah, you've probably seen a couple of the podcasts before. Like, I, I'm the opposite to Tay. Tay can overeat, uh, click a button, and for me, I could not... <laughs> Excuse me. I could not eat, eat for, like, two days and You could go on a three-day strike. Three-day strike, yeah. If someone said, look, That'd there's no food me. for three days, I'm like, oh, where's the bad bits? Yeah. It's fine. So you could just have like smoothies. Yes, yeah, so I need for to have some. Ten days. 
like some weight gain shakes or something like that because I start to look at myself and think, fuck, I'm losing. Do you know, know, know like most people go off, oh, put on like five pounds this week. Yeah. Mine's the opposite, I'm like, I've lost five pounds. And then I start oh, thinking, gotta, gotta do something. Do you know what, we just need to trade metabolisms. I know, I feel like if I go gym once, right in the middle, this is middle of the holiday, go once, I'll be like, ah, oh, you get a bit of a pump on the blood around the muscles, you know, deceives the brain. Honestly, I think we can do it. I think we'll go back, put her to bed, you have a gym sesh, I'm going to have a bath because... No, I don't want to do the gym sesh over something that you want to do, like see the witch's house. No, we can do that after, I mean. The gym, the gym's 24-7. Yeah. Well, you can do what you want to do, but what I was going to suggest is we go back, I'm going to order churros, whether you have them or not, it's up to you, because I need something sweet. Okay, sorry if this is like TMI, but... If you're from my Instagram, then there's no such thing. But I came, uh, Mother Nature arrived yesterday. I've got out of this good because people say, God, the first one is so painful. And I was like, wow, this isn't even painful. Why can't I feel anything? And then today, I could start to feel it in my back this morning. And this afternoon, oh, the pain was savage. So I've been taking painkillers and I don't even like taking painkillers. Like me and Jack never ever take them. Don't take paracetamol or ibuprofen unless we really have to. Because I don't know why, we just start to feel weird don't we like spaced out mm. so um <laughs> but i've already had two doses of is it ibuprofen yeah because the pain is excruciating and like i have to keep changing my thingy all the time because it's very very heavy which i expected so but i'm glad i'm glad it's came because i needed that flush out didn't i just mm, yeah. it was very emotional so i'm sure i'll feel better in a few days but um yeah i want something sweet so we could go put her to bed i'll eat my churros i'll chill for a bit um maybe have a bit of a tidy up and then you can go to the gym and then after that we'll be ready we could get into like our fresh lounge wear or pjs take a drive see the witch's house maybe go do like a takeout or something or get a nice fruity drink from somewhere and just like have a nice little drive around get inspired get inspired yeah i totally agree with all of that and um what also else was guys i, I absolutely bust in at the seams to tell you about our new brand and i keep going i've got something with me from our brand and i keep going to think oh, i just want to get a little shot of it somewhere in the hotel because the hotel's so nice and i made it but he would actually murder me no it wouldn't it wouldn't help the brand we've got to do it right we Plus, do. I don't want to. I, want, I don't want to I commit to something until we've got all, I mean, of, the, all of the products just... ready. Do you know what? I've just realised we keep differing in the car park, and every single car park I get to the exit, you're gonna have to pay it, more. It says you can't exit unless you go back. Should we and go? Pay. I'm gonna order my churros. Yeah. So, what a great day! I know it was just a shopping centre, but it just but felt we're really. Finished. We're not finished yet. Felt oh, really holiday-ish. This is so it did. nice. And you know what? We had a slow morning this morning. It was quite nice. And I keep saying it. Apparently, like LA is the worst traffic in the world, and it's, it's busy. Nothing. But Leicester's worse. Le where we live in Leicester, or I always refer London because I'd say that's obviously like yeah. the best Comparable. city in the UK to mm. compare anything to. Like when we go down to London for a weekend, we're like, oh my God, it's so busy. You go into a cafe, a restaurant, shopping centre, and you're just packed. Here, it's like, it's just, it's just no one here. No. And that's like, I've meant to be busy. But you know what, I when I googled the best time to visit, they said mid to end September, I think, till March. That's Do you reckon everyone's because, gone back to school, yeah, they've had the summer? Yeah, because I feel like it, before this month it would have been. It's, it's mid, the same as what it's probably mid what Marbella. Well, Everyone's because at work. Marbella in September goes really quiet. That's true. Marbella in July and August particularly are absolutely unbearable. If unbearable. You, if you live there or have lived there through the whole season, you can see the comparison of like how busy it is. You can't park. You can't. It's obviously extremely hot, but basically you can't park anywhere. You can't get in anywhere unless you book it like a week in advance. Yeah, I would say from our experience so far of LA, um, whether this is just an off chance, but I doubt it being such a major city. Um, I would definitely recommend to come in in September. Yeah, the weather, we've had one... I would honestly even like to come a bit... I would like to come at end of September because I feel like it'd be even better with Story, with the baby, because it is still very warm. Yeah, I mean... It's always nice... Sorry, it's always nice to shop and stuff when it's not hot. 
Yeah, I, I'm loving this weather. Like compared to Marbella that in August, it was horrendous. I'm a winter girl. Um, but also, yeah, it's nice and quiet. You know, no one seems to be here. I would say we have driven about six o'clock. Obviously, everyone's at work, so we've driven about six o'clock, and it was busy. It wasn't like unbearably busy, but every I did make a few wrong turns, and it took us about half an hour to get home down a five-minute drive. But that's my own fault. You've anyway, done, you've done really well because you just all of a sudden driving in bloody. I've listen. This is class for me. I know I'm a bit of a driving expert because I completed the whole of Europe in 36 hours. If anyone um, is interested, but I've been beeped once, and a car pulled up next to me just to you know eyeball me. That was because of a red light, and it was the you're supposed to go right at a red light, which who's going to know that? Anyway, we're waffling on now. Yeah, we always do. We always do. Feel free to comment as well, or like. No, seriously. Are you begging for it? You, we've got to make the ask. Feel free. Well, in fact, don't feel free. Just please comment and like, because. When people comment, I keep saying it, it gives me the motivation to make more videos. If you see, you know, a thousand views and no comments, you think, oh shit, everyone thinks it's crap. I don't think that. You get hung up on the numbers. Yeah, I, well, I don't and, get then, and, then, and then you don't do it again. I know. I think, whereas I just think, no. I don't get caught up on the numbers. Like, you know, I, I really Come enjoy on, vlogging. Darling. Yes, you do. I enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy watching. But... I really enjoy it. I don't it. think we're that good at vlogging, to be honest. No, we're, we're learning. I think it, we're just all over the place and really scattered. There's no real storyline. There's no, absolutely zero storyline. There's no punchline. There's no start. There's no finish. It's just a little bit of We're always between. a bit shaky and it's always a bit dark know. and blurry. Yeah, we the don't The start, know. oh my God. If you're watching if you've watched this, the first, you deserve a Pride of Britain Yeah, award. and if you watched the first vlog, I filmed everything in that car, in that taxi. It was beautiful. Drive down. I look, I look back at it and fuck me. It was like a potato. It yeah, was shaking everywhere and it was just the worst quality I've ever seen. And I thought, everyone, that's it. You know, my vlogging career's gone. <laughs> Never started. Also, um, you know, I don't like to show off with figures and facts, but <laughs> my YouTube has brought in £4.91 <laughs> this month. <laughs> so. You're killing it. I uh, think we should No, it had a high, it had a peak high of like £7.20 in, in April. So, we're really on to something. We're on to something. So that's got the, <laughs> that got the clothes today. All right, bye. So we're back at the hotel. Here's the churros. Well, there's only one. Dipped in cinnamon and then there's Nutella. Hopefully this is some good. kind of like melon squash. You can probably hear a story. She's in bed. But she's having the mm. time of her life. She always does this sort of laughing thing. Yeah, when she's, when she's about to go so to sleep. tired. <laughs> she goes all it's doolally. It's the cutest thing. I do ever. that. Go doolally before I go to bed, don't I? Yeah. Like a 10 pm, no, like 11 pm madness. India yeah. does it as well, my sister. Yeah. Anyway, I've got some information I've got to share with you. So I'll keep this brief because I know most people will think. You don't this, know how to keep things brief. Most people think this is boring. But anyway, I've been speaking to the. We had the protests earlier. I've been speaking to the lead drummer. Don't ask me how I got this information and how we came into contact with the lead drummer, but I can't mention his name anyway for safety purposes. But he explained a lot of the si huh? What? He explained a lot of the situation. Obviously, there's a different tipping culture out here, which I mentioned earlier, and I just wanted to hear from an American who's actually protesting what they're protesting about. And basically, what he was saying, from my understanding, is that they don't have contracts. They don't also get paid. I said, oh, don't people like that? I've heard live off the tips. And he said, yeah, I do. And a lot of us do. So he basically said in the food industry massively, he said people can get paid like $5 an hour and then they're expected to live That's off great. the tips. If you don't tip them, they're, they're basically not even hitting minimum wage. They're not even going to live. The food industry, he says, is the biggest one, like you know, cafes, restaurants, things like that. So with wait, waiters, waiters and waitresses, but also in their industry, where they've got the valet, they've got the bellman, cleaners, all the different roles here, they have, I think, minimum wage or less than minimum wage, and then they're expected for it to be topped up by tips. But they don't also have a contract. They haven't had a contract since, like, June. Which stops them getting health insurance, right? 
Yeah, so he's saying that we just want contracts so that we get a salary, healthcare, we get like just the basics that anyone would need. And I was like, shit, that is, now I feel 100% less guilty that I've been giving everyone $20 a day. They're in, you know, it's not a great situation to be in. So it's crazy is just how different the whole thing works to the UK. Yeah, I said that's like, just... You don't really, it's like tip is, tipping in the UK is like, it's not common, I don't think. Like it is, but it's not for like every kind of service. At a restaurant maybe, but like in hotels and stuff, you wouldn't tip people. No, I said to him, what's strange is like this hotel is like extremely expensive and I'm paying $45 every day to park the car there, which is extremely expensive. Why on earth wouldn't they be paying them the money? I said, it's kind of like the hotel is then asking us to pay your wages as well. Mm. Even though they've charged us an arm and a leg for the room and we're paying for the car park. Do you know if the car park was free, then you're like, oh, you've got to tip the guys. You've got free parking, but you're already paying a really high amount. Like the hotel's taking it all. The hotel is taking the money for the room. They're taking the $45 for the car park. And then they're saying, oh, we're not paying him hardly any money. Oh, she's crying. You've got to pay him. Anyway, got to go. Okay. Just, um, I've got half pyjamas on. I have to, um, I don't know why I'm being so TMI. I want to do it because that's just me. But I have to go and change my bottoms because Mother Nature, she's coming in strong. Anyway, I literally did, I literally just inhaled those churros. <laughs> they were so good. And now I'm thinking... Jack didn't ask for them and I ordered them him so I'll just tell him that he didn't get any because he didn't want any and I'm gonna start eating them. I know you're gonna sit and really enjoy them. No, it's so honestly good. you have my No, I, I couldn't eat any more for second. I'm gonna have a protein bar. Well no, I don't actually want your churros, but I need to tell you where they're from. It's from Papi Tacos and Churros in Hollywood. Absolutely delightful, super crispy around the outside, soft on the inside. I can imagine it about 20 minutes ago they were at the peak though, like really warm and fluffy on the inside anyway we've had a great day got some really nice clothes i actually did the other day as well but they're just not clothes that i can wear here currently because it's too hot from a shop called artisia or artizia it is literally insane like if it if it was in the uk it would do so well what? i actually asked them i was like do you think this store would come to the uk and they were like right now it's only us and canada but you can order, but obviously you'd have to pay customs. But if you really wanted to get some stuff from them, you can. But quality. Or, or messages so tomorrow when this goes live, and we'll pick it up for you. <laughs> like we haven't got enough to bring back. Um, but yeah, so, so nice. Got some stuff from there. And where else did I get some stuff? You got some stuff from Lululemon because you decided that you wanted yeah. something different to the usual Nike. I always go with Nike. Do you um, say Nike or Nike? Nike. Yeah, I do. I don't know why I just said Nike. But Is that what Americans say? Lululemon, I think it's quite, you know, it feels quite premium. Lululemon is a, bit, it's, stuff. It's a luxury woman's brand. They had some men's stuff in some there, didn't they? really nice stuff. And it, to be honest, it was very similar to the Nike stuff. Nike, what the hell are we saying now? My Nike <laughs> stuff that I've got. But it, it was definitely better quality. And it just felt like... More of, I feel like when I wear all my Nike stuff, I already look quite, the stuff that I wear is extremely immature for my age. <laughs> and when I wear Nike stuff, it gives me that same feel. So when I wore, was wearing this, I thought, do you know what, it just makes me feel a little bit older. And I feel like it's the kind of stuff that I could wear out and about and feel nice. Where it's sometimes just like when I wear my no Nike logo. stuff. Yeah, no logo nice. basically, but really good quality. So when I wear like my Nike stuff and I'm out and about, I can sometimes like joggers and stuff, I can look like an absolute kid. You yeah. are. Like, I'm a dad now, I've got to step it up a bit. So I've treated myself, I don't often do it. I only <laughs> bought one thing of each because I thought it was very expensive, that's typical me. But if I like it, I'll probably end up buying all the colours because that's also typical me. If I find something Jack I like. And Jack does one spend a year. I do one spend a year and then I'm like, I love it. And I'll go on, let's say, I don't know, some Reese trousers that I've liked. I'd never buy anything. Buy some grey Reese trousers, love them, and then go and buy every colour that they've got. Yeah. And then I won't buy anything for like three years. Whereas I will just buy all year long. <laughs> in a, in any Unless clock. you, yeah, you buy all along. And then I sort of look and think about what it's cost me for the next couple of days. Like, you know, is it, oh, is it really worth it, you know? 
You really need to take a leaf out of my book. <laughs> I don't. And I really need we to take... We balance it. each other. <laughs> I need to take a leaf out of like, yours. Like, you, I bring you down a bit and you bring me up Basically, if you spent the same as me, If we were bankrupt. both the same, we, we would be bankrupt. <laughs> anyway, if we were both the same as me, we would... I've got to tell you. I have a house in LA by now. I'm not buying that much stuff out here because when I get back, it's cosy season. And do you know what that means? Have a little guess. What do I love to do in the UK? There isn't. There oh, isn't gonna, that. No, there's two things. There isn't that much to do. There's two things. But what there's is two there? things. One is to go TK Maxx with your mum. Yes, correct. And that TK Maxx. Gives me TK Maxx slash Home Sense. When they go on that trip, it, honestly, I laugh and I. Oh, no, deep down much. inside, you've got but anxiety. Deep down inside, I'm like, oh, fuck, sake, this is winding me up. Because it's a lot of money on pointless shit. Well, and the pointless. other one is garden centres for Christmas stuff. This yes. Tay has screwed me every single year on this. So, said to me in Spain, do you know what? I really want to go all out on the Christmas tree. I want it, this colour is red, green, to want the train track Tradition. around the bottom. The Christmas stuff is so expensive. You're probably better off buying it in January when it's cheap. That's my thinking. Anyway... She goes and spends an astronomical amount on the best tree, all of the decorations. And I went and she said, Joe, you know what? We're going to have it for 20 years. I thought, Joe, you know what? I can justify that. That's actually not a bad, it's quite cheap. That ain't and that's a bad where deal. She, her sales comes in because the next year she wanted a complete different tree. And I had an argument, you know, like, we, 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 you've lied to me. But that one we didn't. We brought that tree for 10 years. Yeah, but we will use we... that at one point. But to be fair, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, we don't need any tree decorations for this year. However, we do need the front door decorating. What, a wreath? My no. mum makes them. No. <laughs> no. No. I mean, like, our. Oh. oh, you mean the whole entrance? Yeah, you, but... With... Not the entrance. What you're genuinely better off doing is... What? Is hiring a company. No, that's what I'm doing. And spent because they will have thousands of pounds of all of the stuff. No, that's what I'm doing. Who's buying it? I just want the outside to be super Christmassy because I've got all the inside stuff and we didn't do the outdoor. Remember, I asked you for like months in advance if we could get some lights around the tree. I feel like if I ask you to do that when we get back, it still won't be done for Christmas. No, I, I can do all that because I can shop around. Okay. If anyone does lights, trees. Yeah, that's a good point actually. We want some like fairy lights in our trees mm. for Christmas and I basically want to get... I, last year, had my tree up before Halloween. Also... And this year I'm doing the same. Um, what I'll do is... This is our first... This is a really special Christmas. First, first, story first Christmas. It's story's first ever Christmas in her entire life. And although she won't remember it, we will. <laughs> That's my sales pitch. Because yeah. I know you're going to go, she won't even remember yeah, it. And no, I'll go, I'll yeah, but that. we will. That. Like, we will. I don't believe Christmases should be big until they're like five. No, four. But I remember four. What, do, I Three do I suffer because of, of that? It's my Christmas right, there's too. there's no point in presents, no point in much decorations. Oh, Same with birthdays. Just give her the wrapping paper. The story's having her own little tree in her room. That is one Christmas tree, but what? But anyway, Let's I'm see. so excited. Another, another, another I am tree. just a mini one. We've just got a mini three one. trees. Anyway, I am. I just can't wait to go to Home Sense and see all the Halloween stuff. I don't actually decorate for Halloween. And that's what. That's one thing we do get away with. I mean, I might get a couple of like um, Christmas cookies or no, sorry, Halloween cookies or cakes or something. But I am honestly not bothered about Halloween whatsoever. Like it just. I just think I do think Halloween. I, I like it, but I don't. I, no, it's not really for me. So, but I do want to dress Story up cute. Like a oh, yeah, I, I love that. And take some nice pictures of her. Yeah. But I just can't wait to get all cosy. Like, you've got... No. It's always that, like, Halloween, even though I don't really do anything for us to enjoy it. Halloween, and then into bonfire night, and then that run-up to Christmas. The run-up to Christmas is better than Christmas fat. Halloween. Halloween, I took the niece out. The niece? The niece. <laughs> the niece? We took the niece out. I took the Our niece. niece out. We didn't take the niece. The niece. We didn't take it out. <laughs> I took our niece. Yeah. It was raining, so it was horrific. But 
say, oh, Halloween, da -da -da, all the trick or treating and do this. It came I to it. I was making food for everyone. It my came mom, to my mum and my older a, niece were around. We had a Halloween event. I was tipping it down. And it was me, right, out in that torrential rain taking out our niece. Yes, because I had my other niece, my mum and my nan round. And I was playing spooky music and making hot dogs. In the warmth. So, and excuse me, it was you that even came up with the idea to go trick or treating with my honorary. Yeah, obviously, mate. that's it's good. I enjoyed it, but okay, if you're but the Halloween queen, you would have gone. I don't like bonfire night, I don't agree with fireworks because of the dogs. Through thick or thin, I think the, the fireworks for the dogs is really horrible. But I, I do agree. like the thought of wrapping up and getting out into the village. Like, I absolutely love that. But the run up to Christmas, I'm very, very excited for because I just think that's Christmas Day can always be, even though it's great, it's always a bit like you always build it up to be something a little bit that it's not. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Whereas it's actually those, the time the before it. Yeah, just come on. Yeah. Sorry if you can hear. And we are actually going out. Sorry to talk Christmas. But we are actually going out for Christmas this year to a restaurant. And I'm really excited because I feel like whenever my mum, or if it, even if it was your mum, cooks for Christmas, they spend literally the whole day doing it. They don't get any time with anybody, and then they spend the whole time tidying up and they're really stressed. I feel like every year that you have a Christmas, there's always a debate after of how we could have made it. How do we Like, it was amazing, it? don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but there's always like, oh, do you know what, next year we're going to do that. And then you do something different next year, and you're like, we yeah. need to do that. What I think is... We hosted too much this Christmas, last Christmas. There's always something. And I was heavily pregnant. And I think I what it is, pregnant. is there's a few birthdays for us, like around the 20th. Is it like Finn's, your Finn's dad's? Finn's my dad's. 20th, 21st, 23rd. My dad's on the 12th. I feel like th there's a lot of like events going on all the way up to Christmas. Mm. Then there's Christmas Eve. Then there's Christmas Day. Then there's Boxing Day. And by the end of it, You've done it all, yeah. like, ten times. Um, so what we're going to try and do is, well, we're trying to come up with a way of, like, why don't we all go out this time? I think it would just break it up. It's nice to, like, not be in the house, because I feel like, as well, sometimes at Christmas everyone just eats and eats and eats all day, and then Mom's everyone's cooking. knackered. Then people are knackered, and then they don't actually want to do anything. And by Christmas night, sometimes everyone, half the people are asleep. Or uh, can't yeah, bother, yeah. too tired. And we've done it the Christmas Eve. We've also done it on the 23rd. Yeah, I feel 20th. like if we go out... Something different. It would just be different. Anyway... Hey, why is this a Christmas? We've, this is a Christmas yeah. debate. No, but people, the GG love Christmas. We are Let Christmas us know, teams. do you prefer these vlogs? Because we're learning. Hopefully you're realising that I've made a few changes and the... Uh, the video quality is more stable. Let us know if you prefer these vlogs where we're just talking like this. Like, is this worth us adding into the... <coughs> Lost my voice. Is it... You okay, bro? Is it worth us adding these bits in? Or do you prefer it all action, out and about? Only, less chatting shit. Less chatting. Because we, we enjoy it. This bit's easy because you this just is, sat yeah. here by the... You in your room. It's obviously more tricky to get it out and about. Anyway, let us know. Can't Message wait came. for Christmas. Let us know in the comments. Can't wait for home sense. Like, subscribe. See you. Stop being a beg. <laughs> See you in the next one.